How do you this like it, Bobby? The, this is the craziest place on earth. What's up, you guys? <laughs> My voice is dead. <laughs> My voice is totally gone from yesterday. <laughs> Jared literally stayed up all night to edit yesterday's yeah. video, which was amazing. If you have not seen it, yes. make sure you go, go check it out. It, out. it was a good one. New this York one. is tiring us out, oh, but yeah. that's not going to stop us mm. from ending the trip right today as our last yes. full day here in the city. And we have some awesome plans for you. Speaking of which, we are just waiting for our Uber. We are heading over to the High Line and we are going to go meet up with the fam. Street. We actually were gonna take an Uber to hurry and go meet up with everyone else. Yeah. You guys, our Uber said it was two minutes away for about 15 minutes because yeah. of traffic. Some mad traffic. We canceled that, waved down a taxi, which was really fun, by the way. <laughs> I was like, taxi! And he was like, yeah. And I was like, yeah. So we hopped in the taxi, went around the corner, which took us about 10 minutes, cost us $11 at that point. We realized we were 20 minutes away, probably gonna be costing us 50 bucks. We're like, you know what? It's gonna be faster if we walk. If so we, we hopped out. Same amount of time to walk. And now we're walking. So winning this morning, you guys. Honestly, though, I do have to say, you guys have dressed a little crazy today. I love her outfit. I think, I think it's awesome. It's very artistic. I'm going for yeah. the artistic New York look today. Yeah, very artistic, a, very beautiful. A leopard red skirt with this fun graphic tee. Let's just say this, I'm hard to miss. <laughs> she looks great. <laughs> on the High Line right now. This thing is the coolest thing ever. I swear, I think actually, it used to be an old railroad or subway track that's been converted into a park. It is literally, it's like a garden on all sides. Guys, they are the coolest apartments right here. It's like something out of Hogwarts. It's awesome. There's these awesome little food stands all along here. They have like pretzels, bratwurst, Mediterranean food, lots of different options, ice cream. Ooh, we might need to get some of that. Look at this little New York babe right here. I said the tourist. In fact, we got on the elevator because Dad and I just bought these hats. They're so cute. And I said to the guy on the elevator, do we look like tourists? And he goes, yeah. <laughs> You're like, perfect. And he says, so like, where are you from? And he's from upper New York. So I think that he could tell. He did so much don't you so look. Glad. Look at her head to toe. The cutest ever. I purposely wore a skirt so they can't make me ride a bike today. <laughs> me too, you guys. Oh my gosh, we're the bike buddies. I know, we'd be like, I would, but I can't. Unless it's an e-bike. <laughs> Then maybe. Yeah, maybe, for sure. <laughs> you guys, and Doug has a matching one on. His is white and blue. Check out this guy. Look how cute they are matching. It was pretty exciting. This is our first Subi purchase. Oh my and goodness. We're pretty sure that the N and the Y are going to come off. So <laughs> Yeah, in her case, it stands for not yours. Keep your hands off. <laughs> In my case, it's a nice yacht. <laughs> that accent, Doug, it is on point today. Please take care. Oh Please. my gosh. Garrett, what do you think? I think we might need to get matching ones too. Oh, yeah. They're really oh, cute. I was going to the I Love New York t-shirt and we went like, no, is this Velcro? Maybe I can yeah. pull it off. Remember yesterday how we went to Little Island? You can literally see it right from here. How beautiful is that little view right there? Look who met up with us. Oh yeah! Kind of awesome. Are you guys Jared and Britt? Oh yeah! Are you Jared and Britt from yeah. YouTube? Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm a really big fan. Oh, really? Subscribe? I subscribe. I'm actually a really big fan of Dan. No! Oh, wow. no, it's not me. Thank you guys. Guys, this is pretty cool. So these little benches right here have subway cart type wheels on the bottom of them so they can move along. So there's this really cool wall all along here and Doug and Jolene wrote something on it. Jared gets to find it. He's gonna find it. We're playing hot and cold. Hot and cold. Yeah, he's getting warmer. You're warmer, Jared. He's true love. Honey, it's still gonna be there, guys. You guys, look at all this writing. 
that awesome? It's really cool. Is over here somewhere? Justin Bingham. Yeah. <laughs> Justin Bingham. Okay. Oh! oh. That's I recognize so that for you. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, we had split off from the rest of the group because we had a little bit of a wardrobe malfunction. Yeah, this skirt is not the most bike friendly. Unfortunately, I thought it would be because there's like a slip, but my skirt was just coming right up, so I was like, not the best idea. So they took the bikes down. We are gonna take a quick Uber trip down, and then we will tell you all what you're about to do. Guys, we are doing something insane. Mind blowing, we have never <laughs> done this here in the city before. None of us have. And Jay and I have only ever done this once. Okay, guys, you can probably guess what we're doing based on what you see behind us. <gasps> but we are doing a helicopter ride across New York City. Oh <laughs> my gosh, look at that. Holy cow! Wow, that's what we're gonna be doing right there. The whole family is meeting up right here. We are gonna be taking Two helicopters up and it's insane. I cannot That is so crazy. I cannot believe we get to do this. Oh my gosh. Look at that. That is awesome. So right now we are down right on the edge of the Brooklyn side of Manhattan. You might see the Brooklyn Bridge right there, which is so beautiful. If you've not seen our vlog where we walked over that, you need to go back and watch it right now. It's incredible at sunset. Highly recommend. Oh yeah. But you guys, I mean this is gonna just be epic. <laughs> it's my gonna be so cool. Cannot wait. Oh my god. It was so crazy to be over the city like that. Because I was yeah. literally like I was eye to eye with the Statue of Liberty at one point. It was insane. I mean how to describe it. Wow. It was so much fun. It was so, so cool. much fun. Like to be up there on top of like the buildings looking down at the buildings. I think Central Park and yeah. just the, just the it was, like landscape from that point of view. Yeah. Hopefully we could capture it. It's a little tricky because the windows and your yeah. position you can't really move a lot. Yeah, but you can't really move. It's really tight in there. But it was amazing. Oh my gosh, it's seriously so much fun. Like the fact that we were on the edge last night and then looking down on the edge is yeah. so cool. And like the city is massive. Obviously when you're standing next to these buildings, they're huge, but when you're up in the air like that, everything just seems so small. I will say this, it was pretty quick. I was expecting it to be a little bit longer. Yeah. It was like what, maybe 15 minutes? Yeah, 15 minutes 15 at most. Minutes at yeah. Most. So it's pretty yeah. quick. They take you 
down the side of the coast, flip around so the other people can see it. Out by the Statue of Liberty, they yep. can't get too close to the bridge, sadly. Yeah, yeah. And then they come back and you land and it's over. So this is actually my third helicopter tour and Brittany's second. So our first helicopter tour together as a couple, we did it over the Nepali coast in Kauai. I will actually link that video below. Hands down, probably the coolest thing we've ever done. By far, we had the doors off, we were hanging our feet outside the window. It's almost an hour long, like, yeah. oh, it was incredible. It was incredible. And then the second time, I actually did it in Melbourne, Australia, over That's the coast, right. yeah, this yes. place called 12 Apostles. It was awesome. Was so, cool. so I will actually link both of those videos down below for you guys to go check out. We're basically just gonna walk around, check out the shops, maybe do a little shopping ourselves. But it is maddening how many There's people are here right so now. There are so many people here. There are more people here than anywhere we've seen here in New York City. Yeah. Like, I feel like everyone and their dog literally showed up today. I think it's because it's the weekend, <laughs> it's beautiful weather, so everyone comes up to shop. Yeah. district now we and are all we hungry oh yeah we're all starving we're so speaking hungry. of meat we're craving some food <laughs> yes this area is so fun it just has a really cool vibe to it it's oh like, very cool vibe there's like street vendors everywhere it's modern but it's old and it's clean it is clean too yeah so, very cool little area to come check out. This is actually where we went to brunch last time we were in New York on the 4th of July, but we found an Italian restaurant that we're gonna go try out right now. Guess where we are? Times Square! Okay guys, so dinner was delicious, but since we fly out tomorrow night, we knew there's no other time that we could come to Times Square unless we went tonight. Guys, you gotta go to Times Square when you come to New York. Yeah, you, got, you just got to. to. The lights, the noises, it's just, it's all It's crazy. amazing, I mean, look around us, it's crazy. It's crazy, it's packed here <laughs> it's tonight packed, too. Yes. Saturday night, it's packed. This is the craziest place on earth. I love it. <laughs> it truly is the craziest place on earth. It's yeah. maddening how many people are here. Hey, I've never, we were just talking about this. I've never seen it so packed. Oh. Me either. I don't understand what, what's happening tonight except it's a Saturday night. It's yeah. Crazy. So that's cool. Seriously. Oh, I know what's happening. Those people are off. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah that's them that. right there. That's why we're here. Oh, oh, hey, we made it. We're here for you. the famous Magnolia Bakery. Jerry got the banana pudding. How is it, babe? It's amazing, and I don't even really like pudding. <laughs> That's how good it is. He got the large, I got a small, and I also got a lemon bar. You guys, look at this. Radio City Music Hall is right there. You have these famous fountains. Oh. Yeah, tonight's show is starring Jimmy Fallon. Yeah, tonight's show is starring Jimmy Fallon. New York is just magical at night. I like this vibe a little more than the Times Square vibe. So this is the famous banana pudding. Magnolia sitting in front of Radio City Music Hall. This is so fun. Okay, back in the hotel, <laughs> back in our comfy clothes, <laughs> gone into the PJs. You guys, we are tired. And yeah, we're exhausted. exhausted. Can you tell by our voices? I know, seriously. This is what New York does to you <laughs> after go, 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 what, four days so yeah. far? Oh my god. Today gosh. was a blast though. We had seriously so much fun. So much fun. So we just got back from Times Square. You guys, we had the craziest, well, a 
house. A couple crazy yeah, things happened. Very crazy. So as you guys know, I mean, Times Square is amazing with all the lights, the sounds, the people all around, but it can also be kind of a scary, crazy yeah. place. With borderline some, dangerous, yeah. Yeah, borderline dangerous, honestly. So anyways, one of the things that happened is all the girls, it was me, Lindsay, Mindy, and Maddie, we were all together and I was like, oh, let's dance, you know, and take a little cute video for Instagram. So I'm taking the video, we're like dancing in the middle of Times Square, you know, just like putting our arms up. And all of a sudden, this group of people walk up behind us, they start dancing. I didn't even really notice because I was kind of looking at the video. And a guy comes up to Lindsay and just like puts his like arm around her yeah, neck and like a choke hold. back. Yeah. And then I kind of look and we're all kind of just nervously laughing because they're still dancing and we're yeah. like, okay, is this like all in good fun or is it scary? But like in today's world, I just don't feel like mm, that's appropriate. Like that. You'd never come up and like touch someone or like grab. Anyways, mm -hmm. we were all a little like sketched out. Luckily, I think it was harmless. They mm -hmm. were just trying to have fun and they left. So that was one thing. But then you guys, it got a little, it honestly was yeah, scary. Like really scary. So this one guy like approached Brittany yeah. and he was basically harassing her. At first he started out nice. He was kind of like a, just like, cool guy cool, but yeah. you could tell that he was like you know using drugs of he, some sort all of a sudden he turned really like crude and it mm -hmm. was really it was really awesome all the guys all the being a men stepped up and came over <laughs> so i felt super <laughs> safe with all of them there but he just kept going and going yeah and he started kind of harassing jared yeah and it was getting to the point where they're like hey dude you gotta like get away you gotta like leave mm -hmm. us alone type thing yeah. and then he at one point what did he do he like hit your hand down because Jared like yeah. put up his hand was like dude you need to back off yeah and he like hit Jared's hand down and I was like oh my gosh because at that point you don't really know like what yeah. people can do especially when they're maybe not in the right state of mind yeah so. exactly and oh. he just cussed our custom up a storm and you know luckily we were able to go our separate ways yeah, but he, at one point we weren't really quite sure because yeah, this guy's a wild card for a few minutes oh yeah and we were all I mean we we're a big group of people we are big dudes too but <laughs> yeah. anyways you guys a little crazy ending to the night all Times of us square were, is nuts <laughs> yeah it's a little crazy i would suggest not going super late at night i mean we were there around like nine ish mm -hmm. but i think some sketchy stuff does happen so be just be smart be safe definitely never go alone i was so mm -hmm. grateful for all jared and all the big men <laughs> stepping up helping out yeah but you guys i think with that we're gonna call it a night where we are so exhausted but we have had an absolute blast here with the family if you're new to our channel make sure you subscribe because we have so many more things coming up this week it's gonna blow your mind but we love you all and we'll see you all tomorrow see you guys love you bye, bye.